Greetings, fellow chatbot creators. Welcome to your GPT chatbot studio, making API calls from your AI chatbot. Let's see how we can call external APIs using your GPT chatbot studio. Here, we have a flow created to handle flight detail inquiries. We start with the flight inquiry intent, where we ask for flight-related details. Now we have an API that provides real-time flight information based on the flight number. To complete this flow, we need to fetch the relevant flight details from the API. All right, let's add our API call node here. Here, we'll configure our API with details like request type, headers, and parameters. Next, we add our API endpoint and search for the user's flight number details. We can insert dynamic values using double curly braces and entity names, allowing us to use dynamic variables in every field. Let's test our API now. Great, our API is working fine. Remember, every API response can be accessed using the response keyword. To store the API response in a variable for further use, we need to access the response using object.notation. For now, let's just store the whole response JSON. Now that we have our response stored, let's output the information to the user. Using the AI response node, we turn our JSON response into a human-readable message. OK, let's test this flow in our emulator. Fantastic, now you know how to use the API call node. For more information, check out the Your GPT documentation. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on making a powerful AI chatbot. We're excited to see what you build. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on how to build powerful AI chatbots.